<laughs> yeah, I got kind of a kind of a not the best assignment today, but you know these trash bins here, uh, they are made uh, to hold specific amounts of stuff and specific items. And you know all of us have been guilty about trying to put stuff in here, a little extra bag here and there. But if the lid doesn't close here, you're gonna pay for it if you live in Stockton. If there's one thing Pete DeValle hates, it's an overflowing trash bin along Stockton streets. Everybody does, because everybody, you know, their families of four or six. Good news for Pete. Starting today, anyone overloading their trash, recycle, or yard waste bins could face a fine. Well, they got to start somewhere to infer the public. The fines don't just start with overflowing bins. Stockton residents could face fines with contaminated bins. The contamination charge ranges from $6.09 to $18.20. The waste bin fines are part of Stockton's new contract agreement with trash collecting companies Waste Management and Republic Services. Stockton Solid Waste Manager Grace Smith says that these fines are part of an effort to send less recyclables to the landfill. Once a contaminated cart has been placed in the hopper, in essence, the entire truck is contaminated. Contamination in recycle bins can be things like foods, oils, or non-recyclable trash. And once recyclables are contaminated, they have to go to the landfill. And that's why waste collection companies are cracking down and fining offenders. They do have a smart truck feature that does have the ability to take photos and video. Here's three tips from Republic Service. First tip is know what to throw. Here's what you can recycle. Cardboard boxes, plastic jugs, bottles, cans, and paper. Tip number two, empty, clean, dry. You gotta make sure all the contents in these containers are gone. So clean it out and dry it. The third and final tip here, don't bag it. Make sure you get all of these plastic bags out of your recycling here. And when you actually do put your recycling in here, dump everything out of there. All right, now the city says these fines are really made for repeat offenders. You're gonna see a lot of uh, some of these warnings coming out here uh, within the next couple months. And this is all just an effort to help clean up the trash problem here in Stockton. Back to you guys. All right, John, you did not waste a beat on your trashy story. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, uh -huh. Steve. I have to wash my hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get some hand sanitizer. <laughs>